all right guys welcome to another video um as you can guess by the looks of it uh today we're going to be changing out an axle on sportsman 500 ho got a new rear axle from uh, east lake axle and i got the uh, atv suspended from the ceiling here as you can tell with a couple of uh, ratchet straps you got uh, this guy here a jack under it also just in case get her off the ground hold it up in the air in case the jack comes down uh, because once we get this tire off here we don't want the jack coming down um, or the ATV coming undone when we try and pull this axle shaft out of here so what was going on is I had some clicking and stuff going on uh, let me see let me zoom in for you all right so I had some clicking and stuff going on, and as you can see, my boot is completely ripped. Hopefully you can see there. If not, you can see that right there. But, yeah, boot was completely ripped, and I think the axle shot too, so. I'm going to get this uh, pulled out of here and take a look, see what we got going on. So first thing is get the tire off of here. All right, guys, we got the tire off there. Now, the next step, there, give you a full view of everything. Next step, just pull this little cap off of here. Slide that off. And there you've got your uh, castle nut with your cotter pin through there. So now we're going to take out this cotter pin, just straighten these out with the needle nose here. Pull that cotter key out and then undo this guy here. Alright guys, so next pull this bolt out here. Loosen that up, pull that one out. Same thing for the one on this side. You want to loosen that one up, pull that out, which I did already. And then you want to take this bolt out up top here as well. Um, this one's a little stiff, so I'm just going to use a hammer to uh, tap on it and then I'll pull it out the back side and then once that's done I should be able to uh, secure this up to the four-wheeler somewhere with bungee cords and then we'll go from there all right guys next thing I did was take out these uh, two bolts here that were on the back side of your uh, brake caliper and then I hung the brake caliper up to my back rack with a bungee cord kind of keep it out of the way so this drop down those two bolts were right in here they went this way i just undid both of them and then uh, bungeed that up there so now i'm going to try and pull this off of here i think i should be able to now just pull it straight this way and get it off of here and then uh, try and get the axle out of there in a minute all right guys so next step is to remove these uh, rubber bushings here on each end there and here um, you can use a straight slot screwdriver just be gentle and try and get them loosened up I was using my hand and luckily mine were fairly loose so as you can see we'll clean these up grease them again before we put them back in but once you undo these this hub assembly here is gonna fall off once I pull out that other one and here's kind of your little insert. So we'll just leave that that way. Put that like that. And now when I undo this one, this is all going to drop down. So um, I should hold that up there kind of. Let's see. Use a bungee cord for you guys. This is just for the video. That way it doesn't uh, free fall on me. But yeah, so now if I undo this one. That one's done so now this yeah you see that how it slips right out of there there's what we wanted I can leave that just dangle there bungee cords are awesome guys all right now we can work on getting ugh, you see what a mess that is but now we can work on getting uh, the axle out from up there so I'm going to have to raise this up and get this out of the way. 
and then that way I got a straight shot going from there, pulling this way. Then we should be good. All right, guys, just about time to get the old axle out of here. So the other thing I did was there's this bolt here. Um, this bolt here threaded into the top of here. Um, this was actually under here. Um, so I just took unscrewed that, took that out, and then I bungee corded my top A arm, which is what this is. Bungee corded that kind of up out of the way so I can get more of a, a straight shot when I pull this axle out of here. Try and give her a yank and see if she'll come. And when you do that, um, pull on this center part of the axle. Give a pull on here. Don't be pulling. Not that mine matters. I think it's shot anyway, but don't be pulling way back here. Just grab in here and then give your tug and pull. So that's what I will be trying to do now and see if that bugger pops out of there. So I'm not sure if I can set the video camera up somewhere to get a video of it. I'll try and find some way to do that though. There we go. Woo. Got her out of there guys. Check that out. Hey guys, there's the uh, there's the old axle right there. Uh, I'll turn on my flash. There's a look inside there. Everything looks pretty decent. Might want to clean it out a little bit, but otherwise pretty decent. So yeah, so now we'll go ahead and get the new one popped in and clean everything up. And we get the new one popped in, get everything cleaned up, and uh, away we go. So let me get that bugger cleaned up and get the new axle out of the box, and then I'm going to have to grease... Uh, Grease these bushings and whatnot, and then put everything back together. So I shouldn't really need to show you guys all that. Basically just repeat everything in reverse, but that's how you get your axle out of there. So, all right. All right, guys, here you can see the new axle from uh, East Lake Axle on uh, Amazon. So the new one feels pretty heavy duty. Uh, feels pretty sturdy. No complaints. Boot feels pretty good. Feels solid. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, what a mess in there. That's the uh, axles. Okay, guys, we got our uh, got our new axle put in there. Um, got our hub all cleaned up. Got that all shined up, cleaned up. Got our uh, bushings all cleaned and lubed. A little bit of grease on them. Same with these guys here. May not look like it on the camera, but we got everything all nice and greased up and cleaned up. So now it's just time to put it back together and call her good. So I hope you guys liked the video. Favorite, like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, hold on. All right, guys, there she is, all done. Got it all buttoned up. Just took it. You can see the exhaust is a little warm. <laughs> Just took it for a little spin. Um, the boot does have a little kink dimple in it, but other than that, she seems uh, seems good. So the bottom one's holding up, as you can tell. 
So yeah, the East Lake axle seems pretty good. We'll see how the boots hold up as far as this piece here. Um, it is at quite a bit of an angle here, I know, going down there and into there. But hopefully it'll be all right. So hope you guys liked the video. Remember, favorite, like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys in the next episode. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video on how to change out the uh, back axle on the four-wheeler. It took a while, but just take your time, and it ain't too bad. Just a lot of stuff to disconnect and re uh, reassemble. So, all right, guys. We'll catch you later.